time. My name is Willick, and then it's episode two, the version 302. Remember, I had to restart, so this is episode two. So today, the main focus is going to be on honeybee automation, like getting honeybees set up and automating them with what I've got available to me at this point in the game. Now, I did a few things while off camera. Let's come over here first. Obviously, I built out my base. I now have lots of uh, cobble. The way I got lots of cobble is I made myself a cobble generator, which, do I have it here? No, I don't. Anyways, you can look up an NEI. It's fairly easy to make once you have lava and iron. Well, iron to make the buckets. Then I made some item cables from Silic and I connected it to the um, cobblestone generator and I used a wrench to uh, simple thing and you right click down here and it make puts it over there Ooh, something I should show you about the wrench I'd even forgotten it I, I've done this before on video and I forgot how to do it if we look at this thing right now it's in extract mode now watch what happens if I hit something with it. Disable mode. And that drives me insane. Did it get into disable mode? I do not know why. And it kept disabling the things. What disable mode is for, and it doesn't seem to work very well, is let's say I put these side by side and I hit disable in between them. That's It's supposed to not connect them. But for some reason, even disabled, it still seems to be coming through. So I don't trust that part of it. But anyway, so it's uh, left click. You don't have to hold shift or anything. That puts it back into extract mode. And that's how we uh, deal with that thing. Okay, so we're, we've got a cobble, lots of cobble now. We got dirt, lots of dirt now. And I started doing some other things. So since once I had lots of cobble, what I do is I put massive amounts of it along here. This is actually bigger and more open before. And um, then I'd, I'd hit it with my hammer. Now, actually at first I was doing it over here. This is where I had the, um, the 8X uh, cobble gin. And I was hitting that with my uh, hammer and getting gravel that way then sifting over here and until i got enough that i could make my cobble gin and then i started doing it the other way and i've got it all the way i went through flint all the way up to iron now for flint please note i got him to put this this recipe wasn't in there i got him to put it in there we put in three gravel and get flint that way because if you try to get flint this way on string mesh there's a 25 percent chance so it's going to take four uh four gravel to get one flint with the recipe it's three so you're better off with the recipe now the numbers start going up as you start getting into better like iron mesh there, the drop chance would be 50%. So it would be better if I wanted flint uh, with iron mesh to do it that way. But I have way more flint than I'm ever going to use already. And I'll still end up getting more because I'll still sieve some more. But I sieved a lot of stuff. This is just a fraction of it. Um, I've got uh, a bunch of ores over here. I've cooked up a bunch of ores, whether it be gold, whether it be iron, whether it be all sorts of things that I was going to need for this episode. Speaking of cooking up, let's show you something here. Where, where was it? Uh, let's pick something. Okay, you ready? That'll do just fine. And we've got a, or well, this thing's almost dead. This is the second, I think that's the third ore crushing hammer that I've got. So I've already made a couple of these. You put that in there. You put your ore in there. And notice that it is doubling my ore. So then I click it over there. Yeah, it finished off the hammer. Um, I've been through a lot of these. I've done a lot of this stuff. But that's how you would get the uh, that. And it's doubled so that I can then um, cook it and uh, get double the iron and things that way. All right, so next up, 
Um, I did serve, I think I might have done that on the other episode. I sipped up some dirt. I got things like birch seed as an example. And I came out, what you do with a birch seed is you come over here, you plant it down, you get yourself one of these. Then you go and you put it into that. You can't put the seed directly in. So that's how I got started on that. For some reason, I like the look of birch better than oak. Now, I know not everybody thinks that way because different people perceive colors differently. And I prefer the look of birch over the look of oak. I don't like the shade of oak, whereas I don't mind the shades of birch. But I know other people think birch looks really, really ugly. It's just a different... Can, how do I, here's a better way to explain it. If you go into a um, TV store and they have the sharp quattro that has the extra color in it, the yellow in it, and if it looks way better than all the other uh, TVs in the store, then you have the same color difference that I do. If it looks the same as all the rest and you think it's all just a gimmick that they have an extra yellow color in there, then you're like 85% of the people out there. It's only about like 15% of us that perceive that color. Anyways, back on topic here. So, and I made some floral fertilizer, floral fertilizer. Oh, whoops. And I did my, uh, so that I basically just any dye and bone meal. And uh, I got all the various different ones up here and put them in there, all, all of those. I've also got uh, potatoes so I could eat something, uh, poppies and dandelions. Oh, poppies and dandelions. Um, I was being foolish before. I forgot how you get it. And what I tried to do was come up here. I was going for floral fertilizer. What? And I did it in a different order. And one of these, and I can't get them. I am in a uh, flower biome. And when I bone meal the ground, I get different flowers. I don't get poppies and dandelions. But I had him put some, a, um, a quest reward in there. And I thought he'd gotten rid of it because I didn't see it up here. What I didn't do, because I was doing things in a different order this time, was look down here on beehives. And that's where it was. That's where the quest reward is for the poppies and the dandelions. So even if you're in a deep ocean, you can still get them that way. All right. What else did we do here? Um, I built myself a basement as well. I'll show you that in a sec, actually. And I made a lot of glass, as you can see. But you remember that from previous episodes. And, oh, and... It's been noted by a bunch of different people that if you use glass panes, glass panes can kill bees. Don't use panes. Use actual glass. All right. And witch water. Uh, the one other thing I did off camera here. Um, now, you don't need to do this. I probably would have been better off just doing it manually for the little bit I did. But I wanted to know if it could be done. So at first, what I did was I made myself a sink. And I had it pumping water in here, like before. That's fine. But I wanted to empty it into a tank to use for uh, the blazing dolls. And the fluid cable doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is what will happen is... You take the tank, you put one of the um, bucket of uh, witch water in there, and then you put this on here, and it immediately pulls water into the pipe. It can't make it into there, and it blocks up the pipe with water. So you can't use those pipes. So what I did was I used an item writer, item router. And you've seen me use these before, but this one, we did it with uh, these. So fluid module MK1. And I've set it up with a bucket of witch water in my filter here. Whitelist. Make sure you whitelist, not blacklist it. And then I've got it pulling from the right over here. 
and it's taking the fluid there and putting it into the router. The router must contain a bucket. It happens to have witch water right now. And then what will happen is this one here, nothing special about it except that it's pushing to the left and I press this button. So now it's going from the router out and it's putting the fluid there, happens to put it in the tank. Now, if I just break that tank now and take it with me, it's going to start dumping witch water on the ground. So I've got to shut it off before I do that. I'm saying that as much so I remember to do it and don't make a mistake. <laughs> oh, why are these here? What are they doing there? I had to put down one farmland to get a uh, uh, wheat seeds and potatoes and one sand to get my sugar cane and cactus. And I'll rip all that up and I'll start using uh, sinks from now on. All right, let's uh, sleep and then we'll get started on our bees. I'm getting to them. I'm getting to them. <laughs> I'd actually planned something different for this episode. I was going to make power. And then, but it was about halfway through my designing out how I was going to do it and what I was doing with it and everything. I remembered I don't need power yet because I'm just going to be collecting combs and stuff and I'm not going to be processing them because I want to build uh, my bee eggs, which are. The bee eggs like cobblestone bees. Yeah, there we go. So we need honey blocks and honey, right? Honey blocks are the honeycombs. And then we need the honey on top of that. So I'm not going to be processing them at first. And uh, so we'll go on from there. So let's get started on this. We've I've wasted enough time. So you saw me make these before, porcelain dolls. If you use diamonds instead of, uh, sorry, if you use diamonds instead, you only get four emeralds, you get six. Ooh, something else that happened. I had a wandering trader came by and he traded me for, well, I guess he's not in there anymore. Yeah, I got two eyes of ender. They were two uh, emeralds each. And I got two eyes of Ender, and I'm going to be using one this time. If you do not get lucky enough to get a Wandering Trader that has that particular trade, then you can do the uh, Creepy Doll in Witchwater like I did before. All right. Keep getting sidetracked. So then we put our Porcelain Doll down here. Uh, Glowstone, that's from Sifting Dust from the dandelions that I've got, the poppies. And this is that simple. So we're going to make 12 of those, like last time. And we're going to make three of these tier one beehives for now. Uh, to get the tall grass, you bone meal grass, then cut it with shears. These are uh, easy things. Uh, that's the last time I'm showing you those. <laughs> OK, so we'll make three of those. Timer, pretty straightforward stuff. There's nothing uh, gated about this thing. There's one of the ender eyes that I got. Uh, these things are easy to make. Uh, paper, remember I had sugar cane over there? So you use sand for the, of course, for it, not dirt, for the sugar cane. And, oh yeah, I just showed you that. And that's our vacuum module. We're going to use that to pick up our combs and stuff. And we're going to need at least one sender module. We can make the cheap one. And I need a regex filter. So this was probably the most complicated thing because I needed nether quartz. So I sifted down some uh, soul sand, which is just sand and witch water, and got it that way. And then this thing is fairly easy, straightforward. That's our regex filter. So we can do text-based filtering. And then last thing, we need five augments. These range up aug augments. 
And again, we need another quartz. This thing is fairly simple. And we've got that done. Okay. Now we're going to come around here. Ooh, something, I'll cover it off now. I was going to leave it till the end, but I actually had animal spawn in there. How the hell did I do that? Nobody else seems to be able to get any animal spawns at all. The reason for that is he, with 302, he put in a mod called Performant, and it's to improve your frame rate. That's its purpose. One of the ways it does that is by reducing mob spawns. So I changed my game over to hard mode it's from normal. And I changed the uh, config for performant to spawn interval equals one, so down from 10. And then I bumped the, the energy density for up from 10 to 100, I think it was. No, it might have been from one up to 100. And I spawn lots of stuff that way. <laughs> I'm afraid to see what it's going to look like in the nether when I do that. Uh, <laughs> or if I happen to get uh, um, phantoms, I'm liable to get like a whole pile of them or something, like who knows. But yeah, I've already spawned cows and pigs. And no, um, 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 no chickens yet, but I've had cows and pigs and sheep and stuff all spawn in there. Oh, and I've made the mob filters before. They're straightforward, and you can see them in NEI or watch one of my previous videos. So, I've again, I this time the dispenser's in the floor. How am I going to deal with that? I'll show you in a sec. So, we're going to drop down our uh, thing right there. Oh, I know what I forgot to bring with me. Let's come over here. And now. Remember I said don't just pick, oh, and to pick that up, I know I don't have on me. Oh, this is something else I think I made off camera. I made myself an Osmium Paxel. See, it, it's a good weapon. It does 10 damage, and it's a, uh, a axe, a pickaxe, and a shovel. So, and it's got lots of durability. So, pretty damn good thing, little item. Okay, so we're going to pull it. This is the one that sends it. Uh, see, there we go. This is the one that's sending it out. So I'm going to pull that out. So now it won't send this anywhere. I should have stood on the other side when I did that so it doesn't fall off the edge. Well, I remember one time, long time ago in Minecraft, I'm standing about this far from lava. I break one. I watch it go skidding across the ground and off the edge <laughs> into the lava. And, and it was what I'd done was I'd filled a drum. So 265 buckets of lava. I'd filled a drum and then watched it skid off into the lava. And I'm like, oh, my God, that took me like an hour to fill it. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put down our tank. We're going to pull out our barrel. We don't need this stuff for now. Uh, we are going to need our bucket, our dolls, and eventually we're going to need those. Okay. Okay, we'll put down that there. Take a bucket, put it in there. Put a doll in there. Fill the bucket again. Wait, whoops. Oh, I stepped out. Made a B. See the B flying around. Make another one. And we'll wait again. Got two Bs. Those things can fit four. Notice how these rooms are a lot bigger this time because I plan on putting a uh, the tier four ones in here eventually. Oh no no no! 
Um, we have, yeah, we've got, we've done four of them. Even one of them's inside. So we'll drop down another one of these. Whoops. Come on, not all the way up. I thought the face would have been this way. Is that the bat? Oh, the face is over there. Okay. Did they change that, or do I just not remember? I'm probably not remembering correctly. Give it a sec. I should be talking, but uh, I want to make sure I get it each time right on the button. And I've had it where I've been talking through things like this, and I completely forget what I'm doing. Stand there for way too long. And the final one. And I figure 12 is enough for uh, this. Especially when I'm, I'm going to set them down and then I'm going to be off camera. I spent all sorts of time off camera um, looking things up on NEI, figuring out how I'm going to do my next step. I take forever. Basically, I've been working on this all day and it's nighttime now. It's even nighttime in the game. Okay, let's go sleep before we do anything else. Mostly so the bees get out there and do their thing. And we can put this back and put that module back in. And it'll fill back up again. Okay. So far, so good. Don't need this stuff now. We are going to need our router. That, 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 that for now. Oh, no, let's deal with this first. Okay, so we'll go down here. And let's show you what I did over here. Now, there is a better way to do this, um, but I can't do it quite yet, and it's how far down the rabbit hole do you want to go. This would be the right solution. These two blocks. It takes this. To get that, I need the solidification chamber, and the other chamber as well, and both of those need power. And I have to go through all those stages. And I went, nah. <laughs> I'll just do vanilla redstone method. Okay. Um, but later on, I probably will switch over to that. But just for now, so I didn't go too far down the rabbit hole. That is the dispenser up there. Remember, I was placing them on the dispenser. And notice that there is a redstone torch underneath it. And then there's a redstone torch underneath that one. Notice this redstone torch is turned out. 
when this one is powering that block, when that block is powered, it turns that torch out. This block is not powered, so that one is lit. When I apply power to this, it'll turn this one out, that one will turn on, it'll give this a signal, and it'll do its thing, with the dispenser will do its thing. So for this one, I am going to put in a bunch of these. Oh, actually, let's, before we put anything in anywhere, yeah, no, actually, I'll do that first. We'll see how that works. I'm going to put bottles in one of them. And then in the other two, I am going to use shears. Shears last quite a while. Okay. So those are now set up. So what I've done here is I have redstone running. It's got to run one to have a point at the stone. So it's got to, you can't run it all the way up there. You've got to run it back a little bit so it runs up to the stone. Then it runs along here, all the way along there. And that's something like 11. It can go 15 and still be okay. And then we're going to put down, oh, let's break that one for now. And then notice I'm pointing at the front of that stone. Can you see where my cursor is? That points it with the orange pointing at me. Okay. Then we're going to take this and I'm going to set it to a thousand. I've explained lots of times why I do it that much. Pause when redstone active. I've set it up every other time where I had a um, lever to turn it on and off, but I've never wanted to turn it off ever. So I don't see a need for that. <laughs> and we'll put that down there like that. No, none of those have gone off yet. Oh, but I am going to need an empty one. Okay, so we'll go up top. Come around here. And I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to stick it in the middle of the floor. Did I? Oh, okay, yeah, it's here. That's the middle. And it's five across, so right there. Yeah. And I'll just stick it in the floor so I don't trip over it all the time. And this thing doesn't need power. Then what we're going to do is we are going to take this filter here. Right click on that. We're going to put a glass bottle in there as one of the things. And I'm also going to use the regex. Oh, I should have done that first. The regex filter. We're going to say we want anything that has comb in the name. And so we'll put that in here. Whoops, not in there. What am I doing? Open that up again. Now, uh, we're going to put that in there. And we're also going to put in five of these. Oh, and this has to be whitelisted. I didn't forget that. And I need a bottle of, um, a full bottle of honey. I wonder if any popped out on the ground over here. Actually, for just now, why? Oh, never mind. Let's do it. I'll take those out for now. Leave that on blacklist, and we'll just have it pick up everything and see if it can get me uh, one of what I want. And then we're also going to want... This guy here, for now, we're just going to put everything to the right. So the face there, we're going to do that. 
And, oh, I don't have a... Actually, I might want a better... Uh... Nah, we'll just use the double chest like I keep doing. Rather than using up all my iron and stuff right now. Because I'd like to upgrade it to diamond, but until I get diamond bees, I'm not doing that. So where are my chests? They're hiding up here. Okay, so... Do I want to do it to that way or to... I'll do it this way. Okay. And then... This one is going to the right. And we'll send everything over for now. Later on, I'll set up a filter for it. But uh, right now, I just want to get everything out of there. Oops. No. Oh, it, <laughs> it picked this up. Okay. So currently, for instance, if I throw a bottle on the ground, it picks it up, sticks it in here. And I should be able to throw it on the ground in the far corner over here. And as you can see, it picks it up. Now, I do need speed upgrades and stack upgrades and things like that in there, but uh, I can't make them yet, actually. Oh, well. So when, basically, once I get some, I'm going to uh, put the filter on there so that it's only... Uh... Actually, I don't need it for the... Oh, yeah, I need a bottle of honey. That's what I'm waiting for, not a comb. I want to make sure that thing is ticking off downstairs. It's connected. Oh, time. There we go. 400. Yeah, so it's it's ticking off. Why are you... What did I see flash? Oh, no. It's just okay. Well, I guess that's it for this episode. Well, no, 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 no. A couple of things to go over. Um... Something that uh, some of you are having trouble starting this pack. And there is a solution to it. Now, this is for deliberately for 320. If you're watching this in the future and there's a newer version than 32, sorry, 302, if it's a newer version than 302, you don't need to do this. But if it's 302, you I'll put a, a link to this file. Um let me rephrase that. I will put a comment in with a link to this file in it, and I'll pin the comment. And basically, you're replacing XNILO mechanism with this file. So you delete the old XNILO mechanism and put this file in instead. This is the, a release candidate. So once it become, it's no longer a release candidate and becomes an actual release, then they'll probably update the pack and solve the problem that way. But they, it needs to become an actual release before they uh, update the pack. All right. One last thing. For uh, Once before, I had a really nice um, viewer who I was complaining about my mouse. It wasn't working properly. It wasn't working properly. And he volunteered to buy me a new mouse and did. And the way he did it is he had me put it on an Amazon wish list and send him the link, and then it automatically shipped the uh, mouse to me. Well, my headset. I went out and had to buy a new headset because my headset sucked. Sorry, broke. My old headset broke. It was a great headset. It just broke. 
So I, I had a, before I had a Plantronics 625, and I replaced it with a Blackfire. The Blackfire mic sucks. It's terrible. I don't like it at all. And no matter what I do through filtering and everything else, you just can't make up for a really bad mic with other things. So I want to get myself a that 625. I found what I found a 625 on Amazon, even though it's been discontinued. Somebody on Amazon is selling one of these things. But it's $275, I think. I forget the exact amount. $275 Canadian, maybe. And if any of you have enough money and would volunteer to buy one for me, I would really, really appreciate it. And then you wouldn't have to put up with this terrible sounding videos anymore. If you can't afford to buy one outright and want to help me out, because I'm, I'm totally broke. I'm living on, uh, uh, what do you call it, the government assistance right now. You can always become a Patreon or even I've, I have a link in the description of the video for my Patreon or for my PayPal me. You can send me money one time directly through PayPal me. Or if you have no money at all, which that's most of you, then uh, please uh, like the videos, subscribe to the videos, uh, put comments in the videos, take ad blocker off for my channel etc. Anything else you can do to help helps. But enough of my uh, pleading with you. I hope you enjoyed the interview. Sorry, not interview. I hope you enjoyed this. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.